John, one of the challenges with mining using renewable energy, mm. the sun's not shining or the wind isn't blowing, you got a big problem there, right? And miners, they love uptime. They want to be mining as much Bitcoin as possible. But there's something interesting about your facility that kind of mitigates that challenge. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, we often get that question. Um, you know, the wind doesn't blow all the time. Uh, the sun doesn't shine all the time. How do you provide, you know, the uptime that you need for your computing? In fact, we get that from the power plant owners themselves. Like, what are you guys doing back there? And how is that going to work? And for the past eight years, we've been perfecting a solution to that. And the way we do it is we uh, build the site behind the meter, which means it's uh, co-located with the power plant behind the main meter that re records the power that's going to the grid. Well, for the power to get to the grid, there's a substation there. And we interconnect into that same substation, which now gives us access to three sources of energy. The first is the curtailed power. So that's the power that would otherwise go wasted. If you're driving past a uh, renewable energy power plant, the, the, the easiest one to see is, is wind turbines. You're driving in, in West Texas and you'll see this huge farm. Half of the turbines are on and spinning and half seem to be broken. They're actually not broken. They're turned off because the grid says only send us half your power to tomorrow or a third of your power. And um, what we do is uh, connect our facility to that power plant and tie into that substation. And now we can draw power from that power plant and also the grid. And because we're doing those two things, the power plant and the data center basically uh, become a combined resource is the way to think about it. So from the grid's perspective, that location now is now either a generator of energy or a load. And so, uh, as I was saying earlier, so we have now the ability to draw power from three locations. One is that wasted energy, so curtailed power. The second is when the wind or solar plant is bigger than the data center, we will draw power from that facility. So we'll, we'll, we'll subtract energy from it. That's called subtractive energy. And we draw that that resource. And then when the wind or solar is smaller than the data center, it's not producing enough to meet all of our requirements, then we can actually draw from the grid. And between those three sources, we get all of the power we need. On average, our data centers are up 97% of the time. Wow, that's, uh, that's really impressive. And, and for the audience to, to fully understand this, your data center consumes less power on average than what the solar farm or the wind farm rather is capable of producing. That's right. So we design our facility. Uh, we typically will build the data center. So it's about two thirds the size of the full production capacity or capability, what's called the nameplate capacity of the, of the plant. Mm -hmm. And what that allows us to do is fit under the curve. If you can see my hands on video, uh, under the, the power curve that gets created by that plant. And each plant has its own signature. And we collect about four years of information about each plant. And then we do that analysis. And then we we do something called a curtailment assessment where we analyze for the power plant company. If we had a data center here, this is how much uh, wasted energy you would, you would eliminate by mm -hmm. having this facility here. And we can prove to you that we can do that by showing you our consumption under that curve. And because we do that, we can design the facility to produce whatever uptime we want. Um, it's a flexible load, as you know. Mm -hmm. And so we design our software now called Maestro OS that allows us to source power from those three locations at any given time in a fixed interval over the, the uh, full year. And that's how you get your 97% uptime. 